since you're back. I'm back, baby. <clears throat> We're rolling. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Uh, we're in the woods because it's a beautiful day and you can't not. It's it's now that season where it's like, okay, right? the winter is over, we're heading into spring and we're just getting like drawn into summer. I just think coffee in the woods oh, yeah. is just a beautiful combination. It's beautiful. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, we've already got some camping Gas dates. station coffee is even better. It's, hey, you know, <laughs> it's all good. But it's but it's good gas station coffee and it, that's okay. It's le They've leveled up. But anyways, it, you're right. I like I look around, I'm like, there's sunny flowers out, uh, which I know is not the official name, but whatever, it's what we call them. <laughs> uh, and other flowers. And it's just, oh, the sun is shining. So It's beautiful. I think we're starting today with saying... Hey, wherever you're at, uh, enjoy your community. Mm -hmm. Enjoy enjoy these nice sunny days and yeah. realize that we're going to get rainy days and you can still enjoy those too. But uh, thanks for hanging out with us this morning. We wanted to just chat and, and kind of bring you up to speed on a few things. And uh, But what we always do first is we kind of look back a little bit and look at this last Sunday. So Pastor Jeff led us through this last Sunday on, he did. on uh, Mark 6. And uh, it was... It was a beautiful day. I had to go back and re rewatch because there was there was some technical issues happening in the back during the sermon. Oh, <laughs> so, was there? So you're saying you were a little distracted? I was a little something. distracted, but right. you know, not enough that not enough that I couldn't get the gist right. of it, and it was okay. it was good. And so, you know, he's talking he's talking about um, you know a, a lot of the question that we keep coming back to: Who do you say Jesus is? Yes. Right. And, and even uh, one of the questions that I, that I kind of came out with it was like, who do, who do people say, oh, that's just Kevin. I grew up with him. All right. Like, yeah. who, who am I that to somebody else? And yeah. when they would meet me 30 years later. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. It's a, uh, uh, uh huh. Yeah. I, I don't know if I want to know. I mean, I, yeah. you do, you don't, you do. Because uh, I know we all did like real, I guess what's difficult is I think back on, and I think this is true of everyone, but we all did dumb stuff when we were younger, <laughs> right? We're all as a teenager. Oh, there's that obnoxious kid. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Sunday evening, him sing, and of course, there's some obnoxious teenager in the back requesting that we sing O Canada, <laughs> just by shouting out the number that it was in the hymnal, uh, you know, like, or, or whatever. Yeah. Maybe Jesus didn't do that. I don't know. Yeah. We don't know anything yeah. about his life as a teenager, but we all did. So it makes total sense when we go home, if some people who knew us from back then have a hard time seeing us yeah. as the adults we've become. Yeah. Yeah. And on the heels of that, my immediate reaction is when I think about some of those people I grew up with, mm -hmm. in order for them to not think I'm just that kid back then, I want to kind of show my resume a little bit or yeah. here's all the things that I've done and accomplished. And I think, I think that's a lot of what Maybe Jeff was getting at, uh, after as well too, but Alan and I, uh, last week, we were actually at a conference, a pastor's conference in, um, in Thetis Island in Cape mm -hmm. and Ray. And it was the same kind of thing. They started that week with, what is your identity? Identity mm -hmm. does not equal performance. Right. And that's where we often get really confused because I just want to say, look, look what I did. Look, look at all these things. Or, you know, here's the history lesson of all the stuff that I've accomplished, but it's not necessarily, you know, who, who I am. That's what I've done, right? Well, and that's, that's, I think, always a challenge for people because you come to retirement age and it's like when I'm no longer known by what I do now, yeah. like you're a new stage of life. I, but how often do we get to know someone? You're meeting someone. Like I was at a, you know, getting to know some of my neighbors at a block party the other week. And it's like you're, you're meeting some people for the first time. And the thought that immediately comes is, well, what, what do you do? What yeah. is your job? And, and we think that's going to help us understand who they are better. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well... Because some people are like, nah, I'm an accountant nine to five, but that has not, that's just to pay yeah. the bills. That's, yeah. and, and they have this whole rich world that's not the, and not just saying that accountants are boring, but you know, uh, whatever it is, whatever that job is, it's not necessarily who we are. Yeah. And, and, and then, then the question is, okay, how do we get past that? Because it's yeah. so cultural. Yes. And 
I think it would be awkward, but wouldn't it be interesting to start saying instead of, oh, uh, nice to meet you. So yeah. what, what do you value? Right. Right? Or, yeah. or those kinds of questions where it, it kind of opens it up a whole lot more beyond either your nine to five or here's your hobbies and oh I, I guess that he's a bike he's a cyclist a biker mm-hmm. or a, you know he's a rock climber he, he's something like that and we kind of blow that up a little bit and kind of say okay what what do we care about mm-hmm. because that's that's also what I've been trying to tweet from our from our Lakeview yeah. Instagram and Facebook and Twitter accounts of like here's what we value mm-hmm. and just kind of going through all these different things saying this is what we care about if you want to know who we are don't look at our weekly schedule. Yeah. Don't look at the, the, um, all the stuff on on the calendar, or or just say, oh, they they put on a really good Christmas show. Think about what we value, and and right. or or maybe even how people would describe us as a group of people in our personalities. Like, I I think for a long time Lakeview has been known for being a warm community, mm-hmm. and I think that's a really big deal. Yeah. That should almost be like our here's here's part of our identity. But it's still not it's well, still not performance, but it com- becomes performance too. Yeah, and and I think it can be tough for us sometimes because it feels like that's a pretty big brag, yeah. right? If I'm like, <laughs> if I introduce yeah. to someone like, oh, you go to Lakeview, that's great. You know, tell me about Lakeview. I'm like, we're super loving, we're warm, we're friendly. Yeah. And I go, uh, is that <laughs> is that yeah. bragging? Is that yeah? It should, but it should be what yeah. we're known for. Yeah, uh, it should be. I, I think when uh, at our best moments, what we do we do because of what we value. Yeah. So we value introducing people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. So then yeah. what do we do so that we can live out that value? Yeah, um, yeah when we get in, in trouble is when we go running around doing all these things and they're not connected we just do it because we always did it or we you know we do it and we we can we can feel out of sync and this because we just we we lose sight of our values this happens to people all the time right when when i am not living out my values and i'm stuck in 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 cycles of just acting separate from that then then there is a a a dissonance there that has to be reconciled or that leads to a lot of people anxiety and depression all sorts of things and so like you're, we, because you're almost misaligned absolutely purpose, right? right yeah no absolutely so it's it's a great thing for us to wrestle with as individuals but also as a family and as a church family and as a community because what we value should be leading the way yeah and uh um and and so that's that's a, a great reminder for us from this last week. And so if you if you missed last week, hey, uh, you know maybe you were busy with mom or something. Go back and listen to the sermon. I think you're going to find that some of that theme carries forward into this upcoming mm-hmm. week as well. Yeah. yeah. And so it's always good to go back and and catch up when you miss a week. And I think that was really good too because like part of what Jeff also planned in going into that sermon was, mm-hmm. hey, it's Mother's Day. We want to talk about that, but what, one of the things that actually also aligns very nicely is the fact that sometimes moms, we define them by very much what they do. Right. And yeah, and that's not necessarily always who who they are. And, that, and I think that's that's just it, it. Just spoke volumes that much more on that day, even with you know trying to answer that question. What's one thing I remember about my mom or yeah. something like that? Right. Too. Is it do we love our moms because they did this, 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 or do we love them because of who they are? Yeah. And we, I know as a dad, my, part of my struggle is thinking about my kids going, okay, I don't, I don't want them to think I only love them for what they do for me, yeah. but because they're my kids. Yeah. And so that's something on the other side of it. We also, uh, I think we, we need to keep putting out front for our children is that they aren't little doing machines yeah. that are only here to fulfill a, a, a job yeah. in the family. But actually, we they're there because we love them. Yeah. Uh, do you see the <laughs> Do you see that um, uh, comic that uh, the kid said to the mom? Hey, we hired a few people to take over some of the jobs that you do around the house. Oh yeah. And so it's like, okay, we got a taxi driver, a nurse, a, mm-hmm. a chaplain, a, um, a chef, a like all these things that were like, oh, that's what moms do. Yeah. Right. It was, it was good. And it would take a whole team of people to <coughs> equal one month. Yeah, Did is. you guys do anything interesting Sunday afternoon? Uh, you know what? We we looked ahead at the forecast because Sheena's thing every year is I want to go outside and I want to get pictures with my kids. Great. Beautiful. Easy. 
cheap. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking at the forecast and I, I had seen that Sunday was supposed to be miserable. Saturday wasn't great, but I'm like, hey, we should go do that today no matter what. So we did. We went out Saturday afternoon. We went down to the nut farm, did some pictures. We went for sushi together. Uh most of it was great. I mean, our kids are not like, yeah, let's pose for pictures. They're kind of like, uh, but whatever, you know? And then Sunday, we, we sort of tried to do like a little bit of a redo because Saturday wasn't, you know, uh, the best and Sunday was still nice. So we did, we, we kind of had a, a bit of a carryover of, let's yeah. try it. So we went to the pool then together Sunday afternoon, went for a swim at the, uh, at Johnson Bentley together. And that was, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, what do you guys? What did you? Uh, we because we were on the island all week. Yeah, and we flew home Saturday night. Um, there wasn't a lot in the works mm -hmm. of, of plans, so it came down to two words: Chinese food. Yes, beautiful. That was it. It's great. And then just kind of hanging out with some people. So yeah, it was good. Well, hey, that's, yeah. that's all we need some days. Isn't it great that we can stand here and pat ourselves in the back saying, we did awesome. Well, and maybe, and yeah. I'm sure our, I, I know, uh, and there's, I don't want to speak too confidently, but <laughs> there's times where it's like, okay, we got through it and we didn't mess up. And it was, you know, there was a minimal amount of fighting and mm -hmm. it was all that. I, I will say this, this is, I feel like one thing, uh, we, I bought Sheena flowers, but they will not wither or die. Mm. They are Lego flowers. Have you seen these? Because she's her other thing is I want to do something with the kids. Let's do something together. So I'm like, Lego had this set of like this botanical set of like a flower bouquet. So I'm like, huh? Build Lego together. They're flowers. It's it checks a lot of boxes. And that's so pretty good. If you end up coming by the house, you'll have to ask to see Sheena's Mother's Day flowers. Does it also check the box of? kids are eventually going to slowly pull pieces off because they need something to build their house or their car or something like that. And then all of a sudden there's just a stem. I'm just, I hope not. I'm, I'm kind of seeing that down. Uh, Ezra did notice from the picture, like, Hey, that leaf looks like a pterodactyl wing. Like, uh -oh, <laughs> shoot. No, I, I think they'll leave them alone. I really do. I think we have, we have probably millions of pieces of Lego in our house and it'll be go yeah, find your own. That's true. That's so true. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we, we actually had different colored ones for mm -hmm. certain individuals because there's a certain amount of males and females in our house. Okay. So mm -hmm. certain colors went one way. Yep. So that's actually helped us a bit, little bit too. So, nice. Yeah. You, know, you almost got a color code or something like that. Sure. 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 Spray paint just on the bottom side or something. I don't yeah. Know. But uh, what also just about lined up but not quite was that, um, speaking of Mother's Day, is that um, uh, we have uh, Okanagan Valley Pregnancy Care Ooh, Center. Yes. And there, we were talking about, oh, wouldn't that be cool to have them on Mother's Day? No, it didn't work, quite work out. They had other stuff going on. And so they're actually coming this Sunday to uh, kind of just give a bit of a lowdown of what they do, who they mm. are. Uh, it's one of our supported uh, ministries and, and connected ministries for sure yeah. uh, for our church. And we're right in the middle now of this uh, baby bottle brigade. Mm -hmm. See that five pounds fast? Nope, not going to do it. From Mother's Day to Father's Day. So about a month, mm -hmm. month and a bit that we are uh, doing a um, very big collection thing for for them and that and and so they'll explain on Sunday you know what that's all about and what that covers as well too mm -hmm. because it's not just it's not just baby bottles or supplies it's it's a huge range of things that they provide yeah and and they are they are a care center and yes. it's a it's a beautiful thing and we want to very much say this is what we can be uh, about. There's a mm -hmm. lot of stuff that's saying, here's what we're against. We're saying, this is what we're about. And, th and I yeah. love that. Yeah. I, I think that's well, more efficient. I mean, getting back to the values thing, right? Like we, we value, you know, we value moms, we value people, we, you know, and, and yeah. So let's, let's share with what we are for. Yeah. And that's always, I think, better. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, there's a lot, there's different ways to give. They'll get into that a little bit more. One of them is to take a baby bottle, which are available on the counter in the foyer, yep. fill it with money, yeah. fill it with and money. return it by Father's Day. Give online <laughs> through their yep. website. OVPCC.ca. There you go. So and, that'll uh, take you to Join us Sunday to hear more about all that they do because yeah. uh, uh, we're, we're probably not the best two individuals to recap it. <laughs> Just saying it frankly, uh, but anyways, so that's that's <coughs> Sunday. That's great. Um, yep. Friday. Friday, we don't want to miss Friday. Friday is super important for again people who aren't us uh, because it's the ladies' <laughs> board game night at the church. Yeah. 
And so we had Susan on last week. You know, you were gone, so she had to fill in for you. We needed she someone. Made, she made a great Kevin. She uh, she did an amazing job. Um, we should just she need, rotate she her needs in to regularly. Work on her beard, though, and then, yeah. <laughs> but we're excited for uh, for the ladies' games night. Hope you guys we have are. Yeah, fun there. It's gonna be great. Um, we're gonna try and push this out, you know, earlier uh, as we can, so that so that everybody uh, kind of is reminded about that for this Friday night. Because if you're watching it on Sunday morning, you missed it. And there was probably lots of fun times and food and games and stuff like that. So um, I believe it's bring a board game, bring a snack. There you go. Pretty sure. Definitely bring a bring your favorite board game. Susan was all about that. Bring your favorite game. Meet in the fellowship room. Uh, this is great. And if, if you are watching this Sunday, just know, I know that uh, the Women's Ministry Committee has other plans in the yeah. works. And uh, so you'll have to just check in with Susan and say, hey, sorry, I missed it. What's, you know, yeah. what's the next thing? And and try and get that. Speaking of trains, dominoes. Dominoes would be a great game for the ladies to play. You could, right? You ever domino trains? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you're enjoying your uh, morning coffee and your sunshine. And uh, we will see you this Sunday.